Okay, we are going to Gen Con. It is Sunday, but it's not really, it's not Sunday at all. Sunday is a state of mind that I don't have. I got my buddies. She just disappears. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just gonna go. Nope. And yeah, so it is like 10-ish, so we are wandering the exhibitor hall for a little while, exploring. There's nothing specifically we're looking for, so we're just wandering. And at noon, we're gonna watch the balloon destruction ceremony. And after that, and after that, I'm gonna check out the BGG Hot Games room. I've never done that before. And then, you know, usual tradition uh, is that we don't let go of the end of Jaycon. And uh, we have a friend who's big into titties, can't blame him. So we're looking for some titties as well. Uh, heck yeah. Sounds like a worthy goal. Titties on T. Titties on T. I almost lost my gummy bear. second year oh yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, how did you find it this year uh, I was only able to make it like Friday Saturday and today so okay. it's, it's not as crowded as I thought it was going to really? be okay but uh, it's definitely been busy a lot yeah. of walking and a lot of seeing a lot yeah. of new things so how was your second Jake uh, fun. yeah good yeah. what's the most fun thing you've done this weekend Oh, uh, for me, it was playing um, a quick demo session of D&D &D oh, with a bunch of strangers. I loved it. It was oh, great. Good. It was good to sit around good. the table. What about you? Just coming here and complimenting my dad. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for saying hi. Oh, thank you I for appreciate it. Good. And I hope that you have a good Sunday. Yeah. Not yeah. that it is Sunday. It's Thursday. Yeah. That's right. That's right. <laughs> it is. Later. 
It's oh, our powers combined. <laughs> our powers combined. <laughs> we can do that. In the form of a lift. A lift, yes. We can definitely do that at the airport. <laughs> if it makes you feel better, Nelly, you can do that. Is she telling you guys if you're number one? Yes. Yes, and I'm giving her a heart. So. Are you telling me I'm number one because I'll be alone? Derek. He doesn't count. It's Wada. It's Wada. And Desmond. They're all Chandler. Everyone leaves me. Well, you eventually have to go. Yeah, Andrew. Yeah, he works for you. Okay, but like, will we promise to stay friends? <laughs> yes. Of course. Yeah. I don't know. You've been off. I knew it. I knew. I was been waiting for you. You're. <laughs> you butthole. <laughs> oh, okay, now you cry. Oh, That's him crying on the inside. I'm busted. <laughs> JBN, can you tell me what this room is? This is the Board Game Geek Hot Games Room, where all the best games go. What What is it? Because it's not like... You can't just come in for free. No. Like, what is going on? You gotta spend $4 on a ticket. But that's pretty cheap, if you ask me, in order to play all the stuff that's like super in demand. Plus, they also do a really good job of like moderating this room. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited that I get to play here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Here, what are you guys playing? playing? Captain Flip. Captain Flip. Javion is running away with it. This is a Come problem. Come on, Parrot. This Hello. is a problem with. Value is king. Okay. I have one. Okay. 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 So keep that in mind. It's super. Fun. Can I ask you guys what you thought of um, the the heist? Oh, the gang. The gang. What oh, did you getting think? Getting it instantly. What's good about it? What do you like? Oh, I really like Texas Hold'em, and this play makes Texas Hold'em co-op. So pretty excited about it. What about you, Javion? Did you like it? Uh, I loved it. I play a lot of poker, and so does my dad. And I literally oh, cannot wait to show it to him. That's so good. <laughs> and he I literally actually plays go, obsessively. Like, I every actually might day. go in and buy like cards, just a regular set of cards, so I can play it. Yeah. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Thank you for teaching it. <laughs> Look, can you tell me what you just gave okay. me? I just gave Nelly two uh, friendship bracelets that I made specifically for her. Her size Nellie's Nerdy Adventures, but I also gave her one that was specifically for Derek that says, Derek, you're doing a great job because she always reminds us if we see Derek to tell him that he's doing a great job. And I wanted him to know that we do think he's doing oh, a great job because you. he is. He's had a really hard year this year. Oh. A lot of people are getting sick. He's had to kind of float the boat for a while. Oh. And He's having a hard time, so I think he's going to be really, really excited to get this. So God. thank you so much. Oh, uh, you're so uh, welcome. I'm and so happy we got to see you. It has been quite the fine Donnelly hunt. Yes, it was. Like, I'm yes. short and I'm like wearing a mask. <laughs> and you have your hair up today, so oh. I'm looking yeah. for your big hair yeah. to input. Yeah. I found you. It got I a little too that. big this morning. I was like, no. Yes, it. that's why mine is up too. <laughs> yeah. But I found you. I found Nelly. Yes. Yeah, I need like a reward. Like next year, I'm thinking of bringing a little reward. If you find me, you get something. So, yeah, so I'm gonna think about it's that. It's a successful con for me because Hell I found Nelly. Hell yeah, Mo and it's a successful con for me because you found me. Did you guys want to say hi to anybody? Um, we're gonna say hi to Wayne and Shelly, who we just left after playing No Mahalo, and we're oh, about. Was it good? Oh, it was, it was so good. good. Okay. It was so good. We loved. We watched it. the balloon destruction of. No oh Mahalo. yeah. It was quite the disaster. Was <laughs> they were uh, so cute. I love the little. Where are you guys belt. driving home to? Chicago. Oh, that's not bad. Chicago. That's like a what three hour? Four yeah, hours? about three and a half. Okay. Yeah. Safe trip. Thank you. I am. I've already cried way too much. Listen, I'll be crying just thinking about it, and then I will cry watching your video about I know. crying. Yeah. I cried watching your video, and when you said it was Tuesday and you were already yeah. emotional. I started to cry because I was already, it's already almost over. Yes. Okay. I'm going to cry when we get the credit card bill. Oh, yeah. yeah. We all have our parts to play. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. And uh, thank you. Thank you for the bracelet. Of course. And the, the convention now feels more complete. Yes, so. absolutely. Next year? Perfect. <laughs> Weirdo one and Weirdo, Weirdo two. two. <laughs> Are you guys, we're back next year? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. 
Awesome. See you guys next year. Bye. Thank you. Five of these. Okay. Randomly. I'm gonna get ten. And the goal of the game is just to get rid of all the cards in your hand. But you can only do that if you can figure out what the rule is. Okay, so, can I look at these cards? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna shuffle these up. You tap on one and I'll crown. Correct. Microscope. Correct. Cool. Alright, yeah, you were right. It was the weight. <laughs> the rule was if it weighs more than a chair, it goes in. Oh, more goes than in. a chair, okay. So the tire, I was like, hmm, yeah, it probably weighs more than a chair. Yeah. Like lifting a tire. Yeah. A big tire is, but a small tire. I think I think the picture is what people have abandoned me. Rude, first of all. Um I'm going to meet some friends of mine. And I can't find them to go to Harry and Izzy's for dinner. Usually we do Harry and Izzy's dinner at the end of Gen Con um, and I was really sad because they had no reservations available anymore uh, for a party of our size but I checked yesterday and I was able to get in a reservation of like six people I think and I'm really glad I did. We had a big 20 people dinner planned at Fogo this year because again Harry and Izzy's had fallen through but because because so many people got COVID and it just felt not right to have that many people having dinner at the same time. We decided to split our groups into a few smaller parties. So there is a group going to Fogo. We're going to Harry and Izzy's. Um, it's a little sad to not all get dinner together, but I just didn't feel comfortable with that many people. So Harry and Izzy's it is back to the normal tradition, but with a smaller group.
All right. Okay. Gen Con. Ah, mm. oh, it punches immediately. <laughs> How is it? Oh, there it goes. Yes. Does it make you want to cry? Take a breath. Yes. And then the entire side is this. Oh, Are you crying? No. I hate that. We've seen that happen before. I'm gonna try some of this too. Mm -hmm. How good is this walk? Mm. So dark. Oh, I just want to ask you about this. The event has already happened. <laughs> it wasn't canceled though. The reason it wasn't canceled. Oh my wow. Oh my god. It that killed that me. That guy got me. Oh. It's like, uh -huh. What does that mean for people who are? We're gonna go see the band Bush. Where are we seeing them? We're gonna go see them at the like the White River Amphitheater, Everwise Amphitheater, or something like that. What a way to close out Jenkin, right? I want her to say lobby. Hang on. Okay. Lobby. We had our big dinner, and we ate some great food. And I realized I hadn't eaten all day. And now I feel much better. And now it is time for Bush. We just got back from Bush or Rush. Mm -hmm. oh, he said yes, so I'll let you guys tell me who I went to see tonight. It was Bush. It was Bush, okay. Mr. Bush. And yeah, Derek, how did you like the concert? It was a lot of fun. Um, it was kind of a mix of like old songs and, and new songs. And I mostly just know the old Bush songs. Um, but it was fun, and people were dancing around and having a fun time. What do you think of the Except venue? It was fucking hot as balls. It was very hot. Hot as balls. It was like 82 degrees and like 70% humidity. It was too much. At like 9 p.m. How do you feel? How do you feel that on a... How does it feel Sunday after Gen Con? Uh, very exhausted. Very happy that Gen Con is complete and that... Uh, I can relax and the fact that I can look at my phone and it says no upcoming appointments is fantastic. What'd you get? I got three uh, friendship brands. Uh, there's one that says GC Hearts Derek and that was nice. Another Who gave one that, you that? Well, that was Tara I believe. Uh, and then this one I think was from uh, it's one of what's it? This one you'll probably have to cut this to edit a little bit, but it's from one of the gaming groups that runs events and hotels. And then this one was from your fan that says, "Derek, you're doing 
a great job, Derek. Oh my gosh. You're doing a great job. So what's new? Uh, I need to go to the dead dog to say goodbye to everybody. At 11. At, a, at 11? Oh, is it 11.30 now? It's 11.40. Oh, okay. Well, I should get out there. Maybe, I'm staying maybe, here. Maybe I have two Gen Con videos to edit. I have Saturday mm -hmm. and Sunday to edit. I love you. Looking yeah. forward to tomorrow? Sure. I mean, I, I really, I kind of just want to go home. Wolverine is tomorrow. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm way looking forward to tomorrow. Sorry. I'm, I'm, oof. What about oof. garbage sodas? Uh, remember how I dodge that now and just have other people drink them? Uh, like, comment, sub, peace. Subscribe is the important one, and you never say subscribe. No, I said sub. Like, comment, sub. Subscribe. Okay. Subscribe, please. Click on the button. It is below the video. You should click on it because it supports Nelly. She appreciates your support. Thank you very much. Anything else? Also, like the video. It helps the algorithm. Share it with your friends. Is that it? Have your friends share it with their friends. And? Continue sharing. And? And have their friends and their friends share it with their friends. Okay. Any advice for sad people? For sad people? Watch Nelly's videos so you can get a little bit of a taste of Jenkins. A little more sad? Uh-huh. Yep. Uh, start looking forward to next year. Uh, go to the Discord and mm -hmm. chat with other people who are sad that there's no Jack Con anymore. So just get more sad. Yep. I love it. I mean, look, just look at the music I listen to. Obviously, my solution to am I sad is be more sad. Is it working? Uh, look at me. I am chipper. People have called me a ray of sunshine. To really quickly wrap up tonight's video, I figured I'd show you really quick what I got at Gen Con this year. We have like a hair wreath thing and you know I don't have a way to really attach it right now but I figured this would be so cute with my curly hair. Maybe like for a cute cosplay next year. We'll see. I've already seen this one. But we also have this flower crown which I thought was just a little extra and that's all it was. I just loved it. And then I got a few things in Artist Alley. I got this uh, tote bag which one of my top tips is to definitely bring a, like a backpack to Gen Con, but maybe also a tote bag within that because the backpack fills up pretty quick and it's always handy to have another tote bag. So I got this one for that reason, but also I just love possums. So, ah, perfect. I got some stickers. I thought this one was cute. Mm. I got this and it has a matching. I also have this. These two, a sticker version and a patch version. I thought that was really funny. <laughs> this vendor was particularly fun. And this is um, another sew on patch that they make that I thought was really cute. And this vendor right here had, has, I've, I've always, you know, I've always liked their artwork. Oh my gosh. Okay, here you go. They have these little sew on patches. So these aren't iron on, these are sew on. But they have like some really cute, Cute ones. There's another one. See, isn't that cute? And then I also got their bandana that they have. It's at the front or the back, I guess it doesn't matter. This is a bandana that the corners have like more like rodent-y um, furry critters on them. So I thought that was a really cute bandana situation. I got the infamous Penny Arcade pin or Gen, Gen Con Bazaar pin, Bazaar pin with the magic card. Oh my god. <laughs> Picked up these two from one vendor. You saw me get a quick demo of that. I got Ultimatch from another vendor. And yesterday I picked up the message from the stars from All Play. All Play. After I demoed it, I thought that was really good. That was a really great demo. Today, I also got these earrings. I briefly showed them in the video, but I don't know if you saw me check them out, but just like 80s vibes, like moon earrings. And then these little like weepers. They're, again, they're made of wood, little earrings. So I got these two. I thought they were super cute. 
and I demoed a game with Asmodee. It was a travel, co-op travel, travel words game, I think. And they had these little pigeon stickers they gave away if you demoed their games. I thought they were super cute. There's a few RPGs and like zine type things that you probably saw me pick up. I got the whole set for, what's it called? Moonlight at Roseville Beach. And it's kind of a gay, thirsty, creepy mystery situation. And I got the whole set. So it came with like postcards and art cards, three little adventures. And yeah, that's what that came with. Then there's an RPG about Santa. Which, I don't know what it's called. The Wassailing, the Wassailing of Claus Manor. And I thought that was kind of ridiculous. I don't know anything about it, but the art is very weird, creepy Santa. So I love, my, I love Christmas, so what can I say? I did end up picking up uh, Butt and Head Together We Are Centaur. I thought the name of it was thrilling, but the back also says Butt and Head is a tabletop RPG with three roles about adventuring as two halves of a centaur. And then I was sold. I just bought it. I read when I read that. And the last thing I got was this RPG called Butter Princess. And I was sold as soon as I read the inside or the back cover. Of all of the of all the achievers in this land of ten thousand lakes, only one will be crowned Butter Princess. But you can reach that dream, yes. But you can reach that dream. Yes, sometimes you must grab what you're not given. When life hands you curds, you fry them. Because true beauty is achieved, not received. And a toile de nord shines inside us all. Never let the odds stop you. I have no idea what this is. Uh, but I was convinced as soon as I read that. That's all the, all the things that I picked up. It all fits in within a single tote bag, pretty much. And I'm pretty happy with how much I'm traveling home with. All right, it's Sunday night. I've cried so much today. It just, it's so weird because I come here so early, right? The Saturday before Gen Con. And I'm here for so long before the show starts that when the show starts, it feels like I blink. Like this is why I get sad on like Thursday. And you know, it, it's not really just that the show is ending and my friends are going home, but I mean, this is the one time a year that I get to see a lot of people that I don't see outside of these four days. And these four days are not exclusively centered around them, right? There's also games going on and fun stuff. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot, so it's emotional. But there's also, like, I think I'm also grieving or mourning the, the loss of the, <laughs> the loss of the vibe. Uh, I don't know exactly know how to describe it, but... It's so magical that there's these four days and Gen Con just springs up in this city out of nowhere and then 70,000 people show up and for four days it feels like a place of love and community and sharing and friendship and excitement and energy and there's all these new games and there's all these people to play these games with and I don't know we're all kind of I guess we live in a world that's divisive and that's kind of hard to navigate and live in and be in with each other sometimes. And, you know, not that Gen Con is perfect, but for four days, it does kind of feel like you found your people and you found your home. Gen Con feels like home. And I think there's just some grieving that, you know, and not that real life is bad. It's great. And that's what, you know, real life has to exist so that Gen Con can be great. But, yeah, there's some grieving that has to happen. And, and you know, I know it's all going to happen again next year. It's just, it's an intense and magical and beautiful four days. And I just get sad when it's over. I just, I'm going to miss everybody. And not just, like, my friends. I miss them all, so much. I miss, like, everyone. <laughs> I miss the games. I miss the vibes. I miss the people. I miss the people in the hallway. Just, like... You know, I miss telling people I love their cosplay and people telling me they like my hair. And I miss 
having random conversations in the elevator about what games some people played or I don't know I feel like at Gen Con I can go up to anybody and just ask them a quick question about what they're wearing what they're doing what they've played and I can have really interesting and unique conversations and I don't know real life is just not always the same way all right I am a day behind in editing I'm about it's midnight I'm about to start editing Saturday so hopefully that'll be up a little bit later today and tomorrow I will edit and upload Sunday and hopefully then we're caught up um tomorrow night is when I hope to post tomorrow's video as well and we'll see if that works out I'm excited for tomorrow we'll do a lot of gaming we'll get ramen for dinner I think and we'll go see the Wolverine movie you know it'll be fun it's a really nice gentle soft letdown for Gen Con you know it's Gen Con is hardcore gaming and then Monday is like eh, there's a little bit of gaming happening and we'll get some food with some people and maybe we'll watch a movie it's so much more relaxed um, ah, it's just so sad it, it does motivate me and I say this every year don't hold me to this but I you know hope to do more, more videos throughout the year next year like maybe I can commit to like one a month or something so that we have like 12 videos or something like that. I think that might be an easier goal than committing to something more. I don't know. I think I could do it. I think I can make some interesting and fun videos. I still have my bracelet. This is the one that Derek talked about. Somebody made me a bracelet that, bracelet that says, they made me a bracelet that says Nelly's Nerdy Adventures. <laughs> so cute here and i met so many crafters at gen con this year that said that watch my video so we're absolutely gonna make a video about some sort of craft project or maker project we'll put together and then do show show and tell at gen con next year i think that would be super fun so we'll definitely do that i also thought that so many people like to come say hi and i really love the idea of the friendship bracelets this year so i was thinking maybe i'll make something not by hand necessarily but maybe i'll have something at gen con next year so that if people find me and say hi they get a little thing that they can take with them like a badge ribbon or a die or i don't know <laughs> i don't i don't really know what would be uniquely feel like it's me uh, but i thought that was a good idea and then maybe i can give some to um stuart and sandor matt kenda some people and if you find them you get a different one <laughs> like like a thing that says i found nelly or like I found Ellie's friend or something like that. I thought that would be really cute. And maybe they're all different colors so that you can collect them all. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know if my friends would be down for that. I, mean, I, I don't know. I thought that was a cute little idea. Maybe it's silly. I don't know. And I hope you'll watch and stick around. And again, my goal is to get to 2,000 subscribers. I've grown my channel. My channel grows by about 100 subscribers every year, which I love every one of you. That is wonderful. I'd love to have more of you along the ride with me especially if you love my videos so i don't know I'd, i just i'd love my channel to grow a little more ultimately my goal is if this channel could support itself in terms of money i'm putting into it uh, and i don't mean travel to gen con because that's like a big budget thing but i do pay for the music that i put in my videos and stuff it'd be cool if i got to um, a level of this channel where it could sustain itself i think that would be really neat anyway i gotta go to bed um or I gotta get editing so that I can go to bed. I love you all. You guys made Gen Con so awesome for me. And I love you all. Good night. Bye.